is an automatic glue spreader that controls the glue quantity that we apply to the system. So I'm going to start the machine as we go and then we're going to see what's coming out on the other side. The problem with customer today in the clamp carrier cell, they normally apply too much glue. That turned out to be a very dirty clamp carrier with a lot of over glue spreading, creating cleaning time of the equipment. The excess of glue being squeezed out turned out to be like uh, affecting the performance of the downstream operation like on planer knife and abrasive belt. And it's also a waste of money for them because glue is money at the end. And the other thing is like with two days labor, nobody want to do that job anymore in the woodworking uh, facilities because it's a dirty job, very physical. So by having the EGS, you're really controlling the amount of glue you're going to put on each board with a control application. Plus, the ergonomics of the working cell has been changed to a point where like anybody could do that uh, operation in your facility. The reason why the AGS is a success, some, some users have told us they save about 30% of glue. The cleaning time of the clamp carrier came down to almost zero, turning that cleaning time into operational time. They also save money on the abrasive uh, by having a longer life on every sending belt or planer knife. And overall, it's a much cleaner operation. Some of our customers did not even clean their clamp carrier even after a year and a half of operation. The AGS allow you to sequence your panel composition by letting the users select wet or dry joint in one panel while optimizing the capacity of the clamp. So here the operator can select the pattern he wish to have, like right now I plan to do a one piece of 22 and 3 quarter wide. Or I could have like, my second pattern was five pieces of 5.1 inch. So you can pre-compose the panel and to create your sequencing of wet and dry joint. The other feature on that technology is a UV sensor. So if the glue you're using is having a UV additive, we can also, the system can let you know if there was a bad glue application by detecting or not detecting the UV composing of the glue. Coming with the AGS, with automatic glue spreading and loading device into the clamp carrier, we also were forced to change the design of the clamp carrier to make them more efficient. So, one of the biggest changes that came out on the clamp carrier versus the typical operation is now we're adding more clamp to every section and they are fixed in position, meaning like for the operator, they never have to move the clamp anymore and they always have a place to load the panel. So like here, the only the operator instruction is always to cover the hole on the clamp. When is that when that hole is covered, that means it's gonna be tight by the robo tightener. And also we're having a wider jaw clamp versus a typical five inches. Now we have the eight inches wide jaw. And also turning out that's why we can have less clamp even if they are fixed. Some of their users have told us they gain 25% more throughput having the fixed clamp version of their clamp carrier. Normally instead of a big glue excess and drips, that's the typical glue excess you're gonna get with that type of applicator. That's where we're saying when you get a lot of abrasive life bell expense, longer life, you can see there's no glue excess too much. Everything is there and as we have controlled the glue application process, the right amount of glue has been put in the joint leaving the piece of wood, not glue on the top. That simplify also all the stacking process when you're coming out from the clamp carrier. You can right away stack piece over each other without putting sticks between or any sawdust to avoid all the panel to glue together.